What's up guys, I wanted to make a quick video to show you how to use my portfolio tracker template or spreadsheet if ever you want to use it yourself to build and track your own dividend portfolio. So you can download it for free on our website at passiveincomeinvesting.ca, that's passiveincomeinvesting.ca. Just click on the free tools and products link which is under the uh, digital products tab at the top right of the homepage. So in addition to the blank template, you can also download a, a copy of my updated uh, personal dividend portfolio as well so don't forget that you can also uh, get my digital product there on my website the ultimate dividend passive income investing package in short it's all the hours of research i put in over the years uh, in hunting down the best um, stocks uh, really that are designed for income so in this product you have a list of about 200 stocks um, classified by manager sector region etc uh, this includes ETFs, uh, split funds, income funds, high yielding single stocks and single REITs. Most are all listed on the TSX, of course, but there are also some US listed funds, uh, which I really like as well. So don't forget that if you book a one on one consultation with me, I will give you the digital product completely for free. But if ever you're not interested in that, well, you can purchase it separately. Uh, really not a problem. OK, so now let's check out my portfolio template. I'll show you how you could use it uh, in detail. So very simple to use guys here's the template it's basically three different sections so the first section here is really the annual summary um, so uh, these are just you just put manual entries for your capital gains of the year your dividends of the year and your total profit is simply these two numbers uh, put together so the third section is really the uh, portfolio um, and the last section is really the uh, the totals and your, your portfolio summary so you could see all your breakdown. So for the actual portfolio, um, I'll go through the, uh, the columns here. So you have the name of the stock, you have the symbol and the stock details. So you could put whatever you want in stock details. Personally, uh, personally I like to put the sector and the region of the corresponding stock. Um, the investment amount. So this is really how much money you invested your or your book cost. I like to include uh, the broker fees in this uh, in this amount. So if you invest $10,000 in one stock, uh, well, and if your uh, transaction fee is $10, I would put $10,010 and $10 here. So I'll, I like to include it uh, myself personally but you don't have to do that it's really up to you the weight so this is uh the percentage of your portfolio the the formula is already in there shares of course number of shares uh share price so this is your acb or your average cost base so your average share price um, don't forget that if ever you buy uh, more shares of uh, this fund um, you need to update your share price right because you always want the most accurate yield which uh, heavily re uh, re relies on the share price. So the yield, um, as you could see, there's really three formulas you're gonna be using. There's the one in red, light blue, and there's even one in dark blue. So I gave the explanation here. So for the red ones, you're gonna put uh, on, on these lines, uh, Canadian listed stocks that give out Canadian dividends. So it's gonna be the formula that you most probably will use the most. It's simply the annual dividend divided by the, um, the share price. Okay, for light blue, uh, you also have a different formula for U uh, U.S. listed stocks that give out uh, U.S. Uh, currency dividends. So the 15% withholding tax applies here. That's why the formula is different than the red one. So it's the um, annual dividend divided by the share price times W20. W20 is, of course, the exchange rate here. So you got to make sure to always keep this exchange rate up to date if it changes. And there's also times 0.85. So this will uh, is basically to include the 15 15% withholding tax. So if you do times 0 0.85, it just takes out 15%. So um, this formula is really for the, the US listed stocks that you have. So make sure if you have a US listed stock, you put it on or you use this uh, this formula here uh, to calculate the yield. And just a quick note for the share price, make sure you put everything in Canadian dollars, um, even if it's a US listed stock. So for me, when I buy it in TD, it shows the price in Canadian dollars. So it's pretty easy. I don't know about the other brokers, but um, for everything to work properly here for the yield and the annual income, uh, the share prices have to be in Canadian dollars. 
And then you have the dark blue, which is um, Canadian listed stocks, so stocks on the TSX that gave a US currency dividend. So there's no 15% withholding tax on these because it's still a Canadian stock, um, but the, um, there are these ones here. So make sure you use this formula here for the yield if ever you have some of those stocks. I have a couple of them, and it's simply the um, annual dividend divided by share price times W20, uh, which takes into account the conversion, but it does not have the 15% withholding tax. That's why there is no 0.85. All right, moving on, you have here in column old is the annual dividend. So very simple, the annual dividend rate. So if your dividend's 10 cents a month, you're going to put a dollar twenty in here. Very very simple. Um, now there are some funds that the annual where the the dividend fluctuates, so it could be a, a bit of a pain in the butt to actually track everything. So if it does fluctuate, you you will have to you know keep updating them uh, manually. The annual income very simply is the. Um, 04 it's the annual dividend times your share price and of course there's a different calculation if it's a uh, u.s listed stock um, because you have to uh, you know give more income because of the conversion so it does basically the same calculation it takes the annual income it times it by the uh, exchange rate but it takes out 15 percent that's basically the withholding tax monthly income is simply the annual divided by 12 and if you scroll all the way at the bottom you will get your totals here so to get a really accurate total here uh, p64 is the total in canadian dollars you need to calculate the canadian income and the u.s income in separate fields so this is like i like i say here in, in the comment this is the sum of all the canadian dollars so anything that's red you will include it so you just you know go to auto sum and choose all these all the amounts that have uh, that are basically canadian dollars which is going to be most of them and if you have any u.s dividends like i have uh, one two three four five six in here well you would put the sum of those and the total if you look at the uh, formula it's pretty straightforward it's p62 which is the canadian income and p63 times uh, the exchange rate uh, so this will give you an, a very accurate total in canadian dollars and of course the monthlies are just the annuals divided by 12. The last section here is really the grand totals and you could see how your portfolio is doing at a glance. So capital gains is simply all the capital gains from um, the totals here from the, the first section. Dividends, it's the same thing. So as you could see, I clicked on the formula and you could see which it's just selecting all the dividends uh, for the, every year. The lifetime profit is simply the capital gains plus the dividends together. Total investment is the summary of um, the column J, which is how much money you're investing. Your average yield, well, this is the average dividend yield of your entire portfolio. Very simple to calculate, right? It's your uh, it's P64, which is the grand total in Canadian, the annual grand total, sorry, in Canadian dollars, divided by your uh, investment, your total investment. Monthly income, it's really the same thing as uh, this field here. I just like to put it at the top so I could quickly see how much money I'm making every month. Money made back with dividends. This is an interesting uh, calculation here. It's basically the uh, total dividends that you got. So this it's this field here divided by your total investment. So you can actually see how much money you made back so far in dividends alone very interesting and this is your really the the breakdown so um as you could see here i i um change i made them into different sections you have income funds here uh, etfs in this section split corporation so make sure you put the corresponding um, funds in in the right section obviously and you could see uh, how much percentage uh, of your portfolio make up income funds etfs etc etc and uh, what percentage of income you're making so that's pretty much the blank portfolio let's check out my portfolio real quick so you could see how, how it actually looks uh, when you plug all your values in so here's my recent portfolio, guys. As you could see, first column, it's simply just manual entries here. Capital gains of the year, dividends of the year, which will give you your total profit every single year. Um, moving on to the portfolio now, um, you could here's a, simply the stock name, the stock symbol. I like to put the hyperlinks um, to the fund's homepage, but you don't have to do that if you don't want. Uh, there's the stock details. So I, like I said, I like to put the sector and the region of the corresponding fund, but you could put whatever you want. Your investment. In. this is your total investment how much money you put in um, i include the uh, the broker fees in here a weight so you could see uh, for eit for example i'll just make it bigger uh, is 4.73 percent of my portfolio number of shares share price don't forget that this is the average cost base uh, share price so if ever you buy uh, more of the same stock you need to make sure this is updated the uh, dividend yield 
um, the annual dividend, the annual income, and the monthly income. So as you could see here uh, for this US listed stock, for example, the uh if you look at it on paper the annual dividend is actually about 15 or 16 percent for clm but why is it showing 13.69 well i removed 15 percent uh because of that withholding tax so i get a much better or more accurate uh, yield uh, by doing this and same thing for the annual income right you i i like to take out the 15 percent from the annual income right off the bat so you have the most accurate uh, numbers and my grand totals here, uh, so this is just the uh, capital gains, the total of the capital gains throughout the years. Uh, same thing for dividends, lifetime profit, and uh, total investment, average dividend yield here, average monthly income, which is just the same uh, number uh, in this box here. Uh, money made back with dividends. So as you could see, I'm at 11.34%. So it's simply, you know, this formula is simply this number, dividends divided by the, your total investment. So it just means I made 11.34% of my money back just in dividends. Uh, and I'm expecting to get it to 100%, which means that these two numbers will eventually match. And here's the, the portfolio breakdown, as well as a sector breakdown. I did this on my own. You don't have to do this. It'll never be 100% accurate because um, some sectors are mixed, but you could do this as well. It's really uh, a very simple uh, calculation to do. And of course, make sure to keep the exchange rate up to date. So this is how your portfolio should look like once you plug in uh, everything. Very straightforward, very easy, and uh, easy to track as well.